Hello everyone, I am Harshita Bhargav from Jitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we are going to learn about Ratio Analysis. Ratio Analysis is one of the techniques of financial analysis and which is very important to evaluate and show the financial position of the business. So let's understand what do we mean by Ratio. So Ratio is the arithmetical relationship between two numerical figures. In other words, ratio analysis is the process of determining and interpreting numerical relationship based on financial statements. That means we have to use the data given in the financial statements in order to calculate ratios. And this technique of interpretation of financial statement is derived with the help of balance sheet and profit and loss account. Again, that would also mean that the data which is given in balance sheet and profit and loss account will be used to calculate various accounting ratios. Now, classification of ratio, ratios comprises broad categories of ratios. So, there are four major types of ratios. First is analysis of short term financial position or liquidity ratios. Second is analysis of long term financial position or test of solvency ratios. Third is activity ratios and fourth is profitability ratios. We would cover them one by one. First is test of liquidity or liquidity ratios. In previous semesters, we have studied the meaning of liquidity. Liquidity means which depicts the short term financial position of a business. So, these liquidity ratios are used to test the short term solvency or liquidity position of the business. It enables to know whether short term liabilities can be paid out of short term assets. In other words, liquidity ratios helps to determine whether current liabilities can be paid out of current assets within a year. These ratios indicate whether a firm has adequate working capital to carry out routine business activities or not. Please note, working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. Liquidity ratios are valuable to management in checking the efficiency with which working capital is being employed. There are two major liquidity ratios. One is current ratio or working capital ratio and second is quick ratio or asset test ratio. So, first is current ratio. Current ratio indicates whether the firm is in a position to pay its current liabilities within a year or not as we have discussed in previous slide that we will check whether the business is able to pay back its current liabilities with the help of current assets within a year. Current ratio establishes a relationship between total current assets and total current liabilities. I'll describe current assets and current liabilities here. Current assets are those assets which can be easily converted into cash within a year. And current liabilities are those liabilities which have to be paid back within a year. So both are short term in nature. And current ratio establishes the relationship between current assets and current liabilities. And ideal current ratio is to ratio 1 which means current assets should be twice of current liabilities. So this is our current ratio. Please note here if we subtract current liabilities from current assets we will get working capital. Second important liquidity ratio is quick ratio or asset test ratio which establishes the relationship between liquid assets and current liabilities. It is basically a refinement to current ratio which indicates whether the firm is in a position to pay back its current liabilities within a month 
or not it is calculated by dividing current liabilities to quick assets now if we subtract stock and prepaid expenses from total current assets we would get quick assets we know that current assets includes debtors cash in hand cash at bank stock prepaid expenses marketable security bill receivable so these are our current assets now if we subtract our stock and prepaid expenses from total current assets we will get quick assets and when we divide these quick assets with current liabilities we will get quick ratio or asset test ratio it is also known as liquid ratio and the ideal quick ratio is 1 ratio 1 which means quick assets should be equal to current liabilities of the business business so these are two major liquidity ratios current ratio and quick ratio moving towards second broad category of ratios which is solvency ratios the solvency ratios will help the business to determine whether the business is in a position to pay back its long term obligations or not long term obligations means long term loans which means bank loan mortgage loan debentures and public deposits these are four major types of long term loans solvency indicates that position of an enterprise where it is capable of meeting long term obligations now observe here liquidity ratios helps us to determine short term financial position of the business and solvency ratios will help us to determine long term solvency ratio of the business so these are several ratios of solvency which are debt equity ratio debt to total funds ratio proprietary ratio fixed assets to proprietors funds ratio capital carrying ratio and interest coverage ratio we will study them one by one so let's start with debt equity ratio debt equity ratio is calculated to measure the claims of outsiders and the owners against the firm's assets which means we are establishing the relationship between debt which means outsider funds and shareholder funds we have discussed in previous slide that debt means long term obligations of the business which includes bank loan loan from financial institutions debentures and public deposits so we have to identify these long term loans from the basic financial statements in order to calculate debt and second is shareholder funds we would include equity share capital preferential capital accumulated profits all the reserves and surplus of the business in order to calculate shareholders funds <coughs> after calculating debt and shareholder funds we will calculate debt equity ratio all the items which are included in debt and shareholder funds would be available in either profit and loss account or balance sheet we have to identify from those statements that what items will come under these two debt and shareholder funds an ideal debt equity ratio is two ratio one so this is all about debt equity ratio so in this session we have covered the meaning of ratio and ratio analysis broad categories of ratios under which first were liquidity ratios and second were solvency ratios in this session we have started with solvency ratios and in the next session we will try to complete solvency ratios thanks for being there in the week watching